everybody, it's Sam here. Thank you for watching today. So I have another release for you. So this is my Fun at the Fair collection. We actually launched this a week ago over on Creating Craft TV and we had a complete sellout. So it was really well received. Big thank you to everybody who purchased, to those of you that tuned in, who support me and for all the lovely messages, comments and emails that I've received. It's just been lovely. So I'm going to show you the three, I guess, fun fair cards. So they're all in a different style of a fun fair ride. So here you've got your Ferris wheel. You can see it spins around, they all fold flat and you've got space on the back to be able to write your message. You've then got the swinging boat, which just always brings back a childhood memory for me. This one makes me smile a lot. Again, they fold flat and you've got space on the back to write your message. And this is your swinging chairs, which you can double up. It just expands on the bottom there and then that will stand up. And you can see they all swing. Very fun, very colourful, perfect for children's birthdays, but also for any of those kind of thrill seekers that you might have in your family that like to go to any kind of fairground and amusement parks and things like that. Today we have also paper pad and the stamps for the little critters and I've got lots of other samples to show you. Before I do that, I'm just going to show you a couple of tiny little quick videos of the cards moving. I know I briefly showed you there, but I think it's quite nice for you to see them when they're upright and then we'll go straight in and uh, have a closer look at all this lovely product. So this is the fun at the fair collection. First of all, we've got the Ferris wheel. So everything you need here to make that card. You've got your little baskets there with all the detail. These are your washers. These are for your sentiments. And then you've got the wheel and then the stand. You get 11 dies in that one. I'll just pull one out just so you can see. That's how they will come. So you can see the, you know, the big wheel there. These will fit into a seven by seven envelope. So a little bit bigger than I would usually do. Tried them as a six by six, just was too small. So I thought we'd go a bit bigger with these ones. And they're, they're those special cards. So I think it's, um, I think most people will be happy to make an envelope for them. Next up, we've got the chair swing. This one here is really nice. I love putting this one together. So you've got your kind of tent top there or the carousel top. Then these are all for your stand. You've got your swing chair there. Again, more washers and then this is your trim and that's the piece that the swings will swing from get nine dies in that one again i'll just show you you can see these are nice big pieces you can see you've got all that embossed detail on there so you can paper piece it back together it looks really nice on mirrored card stock and then we've got the boat i think this one kind of i think is my favorite it kind of i keep changing between them but this one always seems to come back every time i go to use it but you can see there you've got all your pieces and you've got the, the main boat there as well. It's got that nice detail on it. You can paper piece all of the triangles there. You can see it there as well, how that all looks. And then you've got your Fun at the Fair critters. So you get eight critters here and they are so sweet. So you've got your bunny, you've got the sheep, you've got the bear, you've got the pig, you've got the rooster or the cockerel, you've got a deer, then you've got a raccoon and a badger. And you've got the dies there as well to cut them out and they will even cut these small little elements here so you've got candy floss popcorn little flag a hot dog and some ice cream really nice to color and i'll just show you so what i tend to do is stamp everything out and then color them all and then cut them it's just a bit quicker and easier when i do samples and i photocopy this as well but uh, they're really nice i love the cockerel i think he looks great when he's colored in along with the the raccoon there as well and then you can see all those other little bits there as well then you also have this kind of addition stamp set and it has just some really nice sentiments. It's got some nice extras here. You've got bigger candy floss and ice cream. You've got your candy apple, a little gumball machine, a kind of soda bottle, ice cream or lollipop, um, a corn dog. And then you can stamp some of the sentiments into this one here or your own as well. We kind of left them blank. You've got ticket stubs. Other bits here, these are the sentiments that will fit into the cards. Got another one there where you can pop whatever you want and the, the balloons. It's a really nice set. And again, just to give you an idea on how those look when they're stamped and coloured. Uh, you can see those there. You've even got the duck. Did I point the duck out? Yeah, no, you've got the duck there as well. Love the gumball machine. I think that looks really good coloured in. And you can see the balloons there as well. And then you also get your paper pad. I almost forgot this one and it's lovely. So you get 24 sheets. It's eight by eight pad. You get six designs and there's four of each and it's 180 GSM. So it's a nice weight to make gift bags with as well. And I'll show you a little example. You've got an overview of the papers there. And then I'll just show you. So you get this one. 
I love that. The images are really nice. And then the balloons. And these will work across, you know, lots of different cards. I think that one there. Oh, yes, yeah, the same. Just have pulled that piece out. And you get your candy floss, your lollipops and your donuts. So this will work really nicely with the shutter card collection when I had the sweet treats and the baked goods. You can use that one. This one I love. So you can die cut, you, you know, use this paper and die cut the rooftop or the tent top of the carousel. It'll look really nice. You've got the ticket stubs. I loved fussy cutting these. Really easy to cut around and they're just nice little details to add to the cards. And then you get this one here, which has got the bunting and the lights. Really nice. And they're very smooth and they smell lovely. I love opening the new paper pad. So that's the 8x8 and that is the fun at the fair paper pad. So you would have seen the cards moving at the very beginning, but I'll now bring in the samples so you can see them closer. So this is the Ferris wheel. So you can see all the characters there. And you can see just how, you know, freely they all move. And I'll show you, you know, all those little tips in the tutorials which were coming. It all folds flat and then that just expands so it can stand and it will still spin around. And then you've got your space on the back there to write your message. So you've got that style. You've got this one here, which was done by one of the design team and they've used the chunky, my chunky alphabet uh, numbers fit really nice in this. You can see they've used the glitter card on that one. And then I've done this one here. Again, I've used my numbers. You can see all the characters there. And then this was one of the ones, I think I've done this as the demo on Creating Craft. You can see again all the characters and the little popcorn and the hot dog there looks really sweet. This was another one done by the design team. They put the Today Is Your Day stamp there underneath. Again, you can see all the characters there. And then I've done this one using all like the pastel shades. Really sweet. And then a pink one. I love that. I think I'm going to go over the eyes with some glossy accents. I think that looked really nice. Roll up, roll up, let's celebrate. And then you don't have to always make them in a 3D form. So I've done this one here. I just created a background, but you could use the background papers from my other collections if you wanted to. And then I've just stuck the wheel and I've actually offset the wheel. So you see you get more of the, I guess, the strips there that you can see. And again, it all moves. That, that, one, that one could take off. <laughs> it's got a really nice spin to it. And I've just done it as a top fold seven by seven temp fold card. So you've got all your space on the back there if you want to write a message. And then I really love this one, which was done again by the design team. Really lovely. They put this onto an eight by eight. So they then had space to be able to add more elements and they've heat embossed all of the characters, even the hot dog and the popcorn there. But they've done the same as what I've done. They offset and then you can see the silver um, hardware there for the split pin. I love that they've embossed that piece there. So just showing you, you know, a completely different way, you know, to use these. And it, it just stands up so nice. It's such a lovely card to receive. So that's some inspiration with the Ferris wheel. Then the swing boat. So I've done this one here. So you can see how nicely that swings. And then I just bring it closer there so you can see all the details. This is one of the stamps. I just embossed some little stars, paper pieced all the different colours there, embossed my sentiment, and I put glossy accents on the balloons. And I've just filled it with all eight of the characters. So I've done four on one side and four on the other. And you can see they've got all their little extras in their hand. And then on the back, I'll just die cut another of the mat layer there in the white and then I can write my message. That's that one in the greens, reds and yellows. And this one was done by the design team. I love the glitter that was used in this one. They've used the sentiments down the bottom there. Again, stand that one up and you can just see how nicely it swings. They do make me smile. And then I've done this one. So again, just really stuck with the primary colours, nice and bold. Again, using the glossy accents on the balloons there. In fact, I have used it on their eyes. You can just about make it out there. This was one that I'd done on the TV as a demo. So you can see where I've just fussy cut the ticket stubs there. I've used some of the other stamps. I just didn't get round. I was really rushed for time, so I didn't get round to finishing off the top there, but that will have, you know, one of these sentiments on the top there. And then we've got another glittery one here. And they've added this one, which says, today is your day. And you've got the balloons there and then for a five-year-old. And then we've got another one here in a different colourway. 
and you can see they're all different heights this one's quite high up but then you've got that one which is a bit lower and then you've got my one there which comes down you know behind so you can you know it's still going to swing so don't ever worry if you position it slightly differently each time it will still work i would say make sure they're balanced but again i, I talk through all that in the tutorials that are coming so that's the swinging boat and then lastly we've got the swinging chairs so this is how it looks and then i just pull down the sides there and it will stand up and you can see they all swing and you can double this one up if you want to so you can put another row of chairs in the back here You've got your space to write your message and then that just slides up inside and that will all fit into a seven by seven envelope if you go higher with this then you would need to make it probably a bit um taller the envelope but uh it, you know it will still fit nicely into one and i think what i'll probably end up doing is making a box a larger box envelope so i think that's going to be handy for a lot of you that have purchased this collection i paper pieced the tent top or the top of the uh, the ride here and I paper pieced the trim there as well but you can see the embossed detail there but I just die cut it in yellow and then in that turquoise colour I think it looked really good and then this was one of the ones that I'd done as a demo so I've done it in these softer colours and again you just slide down the bottom there and it really does stabilise that card and let you know they can all swing there and then you've got all that space on the back Another one here, again, just stuck to those primary colours, really bold, just so much fun. They're really going to be very, I think they're quite unexpected cards for someone to take out of the envelope. And then this was one done by the design team, so they have doubled this one up. So you can see you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, so they've got those two or one at the back. I think there's, yeah, there's two at the back, that one and that one, and then these four are at the front. And then with this one, they've used a gel pen to just add their own detail. And then they've used the red mirrored card, again, paper piecing it together, coloured in the sentiment there, which I like. And they've used an embossing folder there just to add a bit more texture to the card. There's another one here by the design team. Again, this one's been doubled up. I'll just pull down the inside there. You can see how that all stands. And they've put number five and then they've stamped on the bottom there as well to give you some more ideas and then like i said again you don't always have to make the 3d card so this one's completely different something i would have never thought to do but i think it looks really nice they've used a floral paper there paper pieced you know a different bit again and then used the floral papers um, and they've embossed that piece as well and even this one here and i imagine that one is on a yeah it's an eight by eight card and you can buy the 8x8 envelopes easily, especially in the UK. And that's just a side folding card there. So that's the three rides. And then I'll just show you some other samples here. And this was using the, the pattern papers and just some other fun style cards. This is a TP card. So I've just, um, the triangle here was actually from the boat here. It's one of these pieces. So you, because, you know, if you do paper piece, you're going to have lots of them in different colours. So I just use that there. Made one of my rosettes. And then you can see that pattern paper and how that looks. TP cards I've got on my channel. If I remember, I'll link it up here and the whole thing just folds flat and that will go into an envelope. Obviously, I'll probably have to make a slightly bigger envelope there with that piece on top. But if you don't add that, then it will fit nicely into an envelope. I just made this little treat bag here. It's nice if you're doing a party. You want to make some little favour bags. That was using the, um, the stripe paper. And then again, just some of those ticket stubs. And then one of the sentiments there that I heat embossed. And I made this rosette again just shows the papers one of the sentiments these are nice to just have maybe decorated on a table for a party pop them in a vase or they're nice to just give the, the birthday person you know they can hold these and have them you know holding it as the having photos taken and stuff they're really nice and then another card here just to show off all the characters so I made this pop-up box card and it's like they're going into the circus tent so i've added the balloons again one of those triangle pieces for the flag sentiment and then you can see just all the characters there's all eight of them and then other pieces from that stamp set that pattern paper which i really like and then i've added the fun fair these all fold flat and then i just need to put a white mat layer on the back there so i've got a space to write my message but i just thought that was a really nice way to just show you you know all the characters together and how to use these things you know not just in that card in the 3d rides you can use them on their own as well so that is my new fun at the fair collection i've thoroughly enjoyed designing this one a big thank you to the team for bringing this to life huge thank you to all of you that support me that tuned in that purchased during the crate and craft show 
the tutorials showing you how to put all these together with little tips and stuff will be coming out this week and if you've got any questions at all drop me an email my email address is also along with all my social media channels is all linked below in the description box as well if anybody's ever unsure of the description box if you just scroll down from this video there should be like a see more or a click more or just more if you click on that it will then open up a drop down and there's just loads of information there and that's where I always share all my links to product that I've used to my blog to my other social media platforms and any kind of updates and things I always pop in there so do check that out if you haven't as always thank you for watching look out for the tutorials and other videos using this product and I'll be back again very soon see you then bye